being myself, accepting myself If no one calling me beautiful, I said it myself Yeah, cause it is time that we should face this Doesn't matter if a man is but the two races He could rap both races to the fullest Haters saying otherwise, they evidently clueless I'm biracial and I'm proud This is a nightmare This, this, I, I still I'm, I'm still not believing it I'm, I don't know when I will the St. Petersburg family grieving tonight over a young life taken way too soon. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. That young life was a two-year-old boy shot and killed by his own father. Police say this happened during an argument that took a dangerous turn. The suspect racing to get the boy to the hospital, but then crashed at an auto repair shop. News Channel 8's Trevor Sahaki is joining us from the scene of that incident there. Trevor, uh, what did the family have to say? We heard the gentleman speaking with you earlier. Yeah, Keith, they're understandably in a lot of pain right now. They said two-year-old Armani already had a big personality, and they had just celebrated his second, but unfortunately his last birthday. Armani Creary's family is still in disbelief. My wounds are so fresh, man. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Police said Armani's father, Aaron Creary, shot the boy. Armani's grandfather, John, said he was in the room when it happened. I know it was an accident. And uh, no, you wouldn't do anything to harm your child. But uh, it was wrong. There's, there's no, no masking what you did. And spending the night at the police station was the last thing John wanted to do. Every Memorial Day when, when people are eating their burgers, I guess I'll be doing this. John believes the shooting was an accident. Everybody's, I guess, pulling on each other. It escalated that far. And then he... And it happened. Police said, and surveillance video confirmed, Aaron Curry crashed his car down the street on the way to the hospital. A lady came out, was trying to do CPR on the baby. Uh, it was a lot of chaos, confusion, and at the end of the day, it was a lot of sadness. It actually made me cry. Witnesses saw the father's desperation to save his son. And what we saw just was a sad situation of him, the father carrying his son's lifeless body. And he was, he was, uh, I, I felt sorry for him. Armani later died at the hospital. And Armani is survived by his twin sister, Aubriana. 22-year-old Aaron Creary is charged with aggravated manslaughter of a child and violation of probation. Live in St. Pete, Trevor Sahaki, eight on your side. I don't understand why they're calling this an accident. This Kang pulled out a weapon and started shooting in a room, not caring who got shot, not caring that his kids were right there not caring about anyone else in that room. This man is a piece of shit. And because of this man's violent, emotionally unstable, impulsive actions, his son is no longer here. Of course, his two-year-old son wasn't his target, but when you're an emotion-filled idiot, shooting randomly in a room with your kids there, someone is going to get hit. And I hate how they try to play it off like he didn't mean to shoot anybody. He was meaning to shoot somebody that day. He was meaning to unalive somebody. He just wasn't aiming for his two-year-old son. Being close to a king, being near a king, being around a king is putting your life in danger and the life of your children in danger. They have no logic. They're impulsive and fueled by emotion. They lack the capacity to think shit through and because of this man's emotional impulsive actions his two-year-old baby boy is gone his family had to bury his son and his son's twin sister is forever without her brother that she shared a womb that she shared a birth with all because of her emotional impulsive idiotic king of a father I have so many unanswered questions